We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus on another day that God has given us by His grace. A wonderful day, a day to live to the fullest. We serve a good God, a God who speaks and He lives, and He loves us. He loves us with an everlasting love, and that love is not going away. God is with us. His grace is with us. His grace is sufficient. But dear friend, I want to speak to you, and the title of my message today is, In All Circumstances, Let Us Live for God. In All Circumstances, Let Us Live for God. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in that place. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to receive from the Father today. And take us closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I want to start by saying, in whatever circumstance, in whatever situation you are facing, maintain your composure. Maintain your stance for God. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus in all situations. Because only He can make it better. There are some situations that only Jesus can solve. That only God can give you peace. That only God can take the weight that you're feeling off. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 1 from verse 21 to verse 24. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to live in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart to be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. My dear friend, this scripture is taken out of context in many situations. But basically what it is saying is, if we live on, We live on and push in our purpose and destiny. If we go to be with the Lord, we go to be with Him in glory. It's very important that we understand and we think about this in our lives. So as we live, let us live to the fullest in our purpose and destiny. Let us seek to pursue God's will for our life. Let us seek to live for God. In the world, they might paint a picture or suggest that living for God is boring and you're missing out. But nothing can be further from the truth. The happiness that the secular realm can give you is nothing in comparison to the happiness that God can give you. You see, in the secular realm, they promise happiness from a certain type of lifestyle. But that happiness is not genuine happiness and oftentimes it results in a lot of sorrow. But the happiness that is available in Christ to all who believe is genuine and true from the inside. If you take the word of God and you put it into practice and you live according to it, you will see that God's grace is sufficient And God will keep you happy, regardless of the situation you are facing, regardless of what may be happening. God will keep you at peace. Now, the Bible also says in the book of Romans chapter 8 from verse 37 to verse 39, it says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life 
neither angel nor demon, neither present nor future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'll read this once again. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons, neither present nor future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing can separate you from God's love. In all situations, let us live for God. In good times, let us live for God. In bad times, let us live for God. Let us run this race and run it successfully and finish victorious. Let us finish strong. The grace of God is sufficient and the grace of God is with us. There is nothing under the heavens that hasn't been experienced before. And Christ has overcome all the challenges and trials that we can face in this realm. So as we follow him, we are guaranteed to make it. We are guaranteed to succeed. Many people think about the immediate, the short term, the time that they spend on this earth. But they don't think of eternity. Because the time that you finish your race here on earth is not the end. You see, we are spiritual beings who live in a body who have a soul. And the time that we finish the race doesn't mean it's the end of us. There is a life after this. And our decisions and the fact that we have given our life to Jesus will determine where we go after we finish this race. Which is why it is so important to give your life to Jesus and to live for Jesus in all you do. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray with you and for you. And I trust and I believe God is going to bless you. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards our lives. And we thank you that you don't leave us helpless. We are not helpless and we are not orphans. We have a heavenly father and that father is you. And you care for us. You supply all our needs and you're with us through it all. You fight for us, you deliver us. And in all circumstances, you see us through. And I thank you for good news on my dear friend's life. I thank you for great news, news of blessing, news of favor, news of success and not failure, news that my dear friend will be able to live and enjoy and taste and see of your goodness in the land of the living. I give you praise and I thank you for this in Jesus name. Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you, comment and agree, connect in faith, believe and receive. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. In all seasons, give my dear friend the grace to keep on going for you and never to give up. Many people are blown by the wind and taken by the waves of the sea when the sea gets rough. But hold my dear friend close to you that my dear friend will not be shaken, will not be moved. But my dear friend will stand strong and maintain their composure for you, living for you and giving glory for you in all that we do. I ask this in Jesus' name. If my dear friend is tuned in and trusting you for a miracle today, Do a miracle, do a sign, do a wonder. 
and bless my dear friend mightily. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and forevermore, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.